Welcome to the first experiment of QGIS. So this first experiment is on making a map using a vector data. We get spatial data. The spatial data is in the form of a vector and raster. So in this experiment, we'll be using the vector data, which is in the form of a point, line, and polygon to represent the data and to make a map using it. For this, I have given you the data sheet with the name folder data, that's a zip folder, unzip it. I had unzipped already and kept it on my desktop. Open your QGIS, QGIS, which is a free open software. You can simply download it. I had already downloaded it and opened it. So you also open it. Now, uh, what we are going to do is, now we are going to do a data representation in a map format so when you open it you get two columns the first one is layers and the other one is the window the layers where you see all the layers that you are viewing and in this window you see the uh, output of those particular layers so let's add the data from the data layer the data layer that i have given the data folder that i have given has got three shape files one is point, the other is line, and the third is a polygon. So to add a layer, go to add layer, add vector layer. You can select the file. So I'll just select the file from here. It's on desktop data by the name. So first I'll select my uh, education in Dehradun, which is the SHP file. You can in you simply type SHP and also get all the three SHP that is a vector data. So education is a dot uh, vector data. I'll add it and close this. So you can see some dots on the uh, window, the project window. One important thing that you see is when the hand is moving from one location to another, the coordinates that you are visible are changing. And here you also see the EPSG 32644 being selected, WGS84, UTM74. Now I'll add the another layer. That is again, I'll go to the layer, add layer, add vector layer. Again, I'll have to select the file from the data layer. Now I'll take roads, which is the line data, vector data, and then add close it. So now you can see some lines visible on your screen. And the third type of data is my polygon data, which is again present there with the name of wards in Dehradun. So open, add. You need to select it correctly. SHP file only will open. If I open some other file, it will not allow it to be added. Sorry, I have come down to vector and that is why I was not able to add it. So it's a vector form of data, so then only it will add. I just add it. Sorry. Words, SHP, open vector, add. Yes, I could add it. I could, by mistake, I added some unwanted line layers, so I'll remove these layers. One more. Now, what do we see is that uh, these uh, line and dots are no, not visible. So we can just reorder these layers in the order in which we have uh, actually uh, added them into our QGIS window. Now, uh, the mouse you can 
use both right and left mouse and this hand to actually uh, reduce the size and enlarge it even we can use the zoom button here now once this is done this may not look very useful information because we don't know what uh, it represents or which area so what we need to do is make it more meaningful before we make into a map for that just go to your layer and right click on it and go and open the attribute table so this every dot that you see has a name of the school and the type of the school whether it is higher secondary private degree or, or secondary you can just double click and see the category so it is secondary private higher and degree colleges so what we will do is we'll use a different symbol to make it more meaningful for that we need to go do a right click go to properties and in properties you will see symbology now symbols is for different types so we are using it as per the category so we will select the category now which value will be categorizing it the type of the school symbol uh, we can select more symbols or the colors right now we'll keep it as dot now what we'll do is go to classify so as per the type it will classify you see all the four category and one additional which can be removed okay now we also have an option of changing the symbol by double click on it and now you can select the various symbols reduce the size for it so that it becomes more visible okay then uh, we can have some black dots also say two okay then we can select more symbols so that now we know what is say a dot again size i'll make it two so that it's not occupying a lot of space i'll take it as plus symbol and make it again two okay now what happens is we have already categorized the data as per the different format uh, then we can apply it and say okay so you can clearly see that all the schools are categorized as per the symbol but still i find that it's not so meaningful because we are not able to tell the name of the schools coming in that category so that also we can do by using going to properties again and in below symbology we have the labels labels presently it is no label we will select a single label now what is the uh, in the label i want to select the name of the school it's already by default selected i can uh, make uh, different settings of text buffering mask and other thing i'll simply apply and say okay so i can see the names are already visible now what we have to do is the same thing we have to do with the roads roads is the form of a line form of a data i will we'll again check uh, how is it is categorized so it is categorized or uh, by the name type major minor and highway so we need to be using three different symbols for three different types of the uh road so i'll just close this uh, attribute table right click and go to the properties the way we did it for the dot symbols go to symbology again we have a category so i'll categorize the data as per what as per the type of the road and then i will have to click on classify remove this additional layer so three classification as i told i can have a double click on it and change it so what we will do is main road we will select it we can make it thinner so that uh, uh, it is not occupying a lot of space then we can select one more for highway is a topo road again we can yeah the width is okay then a minor road so we can take a simple solid line 
say of black color. Yeah. Okay, so I just clicked on the color which I wanted. I will simply say okay, apply and okay. Now you can clearly see the rows. Now you can even give labels to it. The way we did for education, we'll go to the property, we'll go to the labels and select single label. Single label, we will have the road names, the label which we have. Now it may get merged with the name of the school so we can have buffering of it so that it is visible, apply and okay. So you can see this buffered data is the name of the road. So you are very much clear which is the name of the road and which is the name of the school. Now same thing we need to do with the word. So before we do, we just need to check what it is. So what we find is it has the shape and the area, but no type of the word. So we need not categorize it, but we can form a simple symbology can be used. So I'll go to symbology, single symbols only. Now I can uh, simple fill. So in that simple fill, we can have solid, or uh, and, and dense or what kind of fill we want we can simply select it if i want a cross and other things i can do that uh, then uh, fill uh, color is there then uh, how do i want to fill it so normally we use a gradient fill that gives a look good feeling and then we can select it as grays okay then we can say apply and okay so that is so we can even could have selected the hashes which i showed you so this is what we could do with the data because no name was there so we'll not be doing the naming for it in case you want to use the id number for categorizing you can use it and every word will get a different color now our task is to make a map now, how do we make a map is go to the project and new printout. You can give it a name like the uh, map. Okay. Uh, now the map window opens. I'll just try to reshare it. I'll just maximize it. So my map window is visible. Now what we'll be using is the icons on the left hand side to make our map. So first we'll do a add a map. So this, this symbol is for adding a map. We can just draw the boundary where we want to add our map. So automatically whatever is in our QGIS window gets added up here. Now what we can do is if we feel that it is not in the center, we have got two uh, move items. So it will simply move your uh, map and we can even move the frames. So that can be selected. Now what we have to do is suppose I want to add a label, um, text label. So I can say, uh, so oh, open, this open, so I can say, map of there are do so i can even select the font which i want to select the size i want to increase the size uh, where do i want to place it center in the vertical alignment maybe okay now one more thing we can do when we're making the map is we can add certain things to this like grids. So what we'll do is go to the grid, add a grid. So just select the grid and modify. So you will get this window. So first thing is you should select a CRS. When you're selecting a CRS, the presently set state CARS is WGS 84, UTM 43, which is actually somewhere covering the area of India only. 
in case you are not very clear about it this wgs 4326 covers whole of the world and is the best system suitable for it so you can say that select that and okay now this is an interval so what we will do is we will select uh, degrees how much we want as a um, difference between x and y and then we if we want a frame so yes we want a frame so zebra kind of a frame i want and then we can go to draw coordinates yes you want to have the coordinates as per the Mm, grids that you have drawn so that way we select and make it more meaningful now what else we can add it here is legend you have used some legend so this symbol is add legend so just select the area where you want to add legends so automatically whatever legends we have taken it will add here so what we have to do is place it properly okay now what else next is the scale yes that's a very important part of our map so we'll add a scale the next is the north so where do we place our north so north is placed here so we have added everything what else is add any shape you want to add or some mic and some arrow to tell what is special about it you can even add some pictures say if there are the most famous some monument is famous for it we'll simply add it here and insert that picture copy and paste it here or and create a picture so right now i'm not adding so this is actually finishing your making of a map so map is very useful in a sense that the data that I share with such a big file. So if I want to share what information I have been actually focusing on, can be done through the help of a map with anybody and the file size is very small. So you can simply save this as a project or export it as image, which can be actually, um, this can be actually shared with anybody export as image or export as pdf as it suggests layout export as pdf yes so we can uh, save it anywhere and share with anybody so that it can be um, So if you look that the size of this file is very small, it's on the desktop. If I can share that with you. This PDF file. So it shows the So it shows my map, which can be shared with anybody, and the size of this is very small. So thank you. This finishes our experiment number one.